When a double bond exists between two carbons, the compound is called an alkene. Instead of ethane, we have ethene. Instead of propane, it's propene and butene. When we get to butene, there's two options to where to put the double bond. So we need a solution. Numbering the carbon chain, we can say one butene and two butene, showing where it is that the double bond starts on. Geometry is very important here. At the double bond site, there's 120 degree angles, and this gives shape to organic molecules. They can't rotate on the double bond, so the compound is fixed as determined by the double bond. The carbons, the four carbons, can form a shape um, in one way or another. Here they are both shown. If I draw a line down the double bond, in one case, the first and last carbon are on opposite, or trans, we call it. And if they're on the same side of the double bond, that's called cis. So this is trans 2-butene and cis 2-butene. We can have other side groups. Here we have dibromo, 2,3-dibromo. And since they're on the same side, it's called cis 2,3. Dibromo 2-butene. Here is one to try. Pause and uh, then give it a shot. Then start the video again. Numbering this, I get uh, an octene for all eight carbons. The double bond begins on carbon four. And the nitro side groups are on both carbon four and carbon five. It's trans. Here's another one. Pause the video and try it. Well, I'm back. It's a ethene, ethene, so double bond between two carbons. Put a bromo on one and two, and they're trans. Here's another one. Pause and try it. Well, 3-chloro-5-iodo-2-desene has 10 carbons with a double bond between carbon 2 and carbon 3, a chloro on, car on, whoa, a chloro on carbon 3, and an iodo on carbon 5. Let's jump quickly to triple bonds, or alkynes. Instead of, ethene or etho eth instead of ethane or ethene, we have ethine, commonly known as acetylene, used in welding. Three carbons with the triple bond there, propyne. And we can put side groups on, such as nitro. This is one nitro, two butyne. Four carbons is but, the triple bond is ine. The triple bond starts on carbon two, and the nitro is on carbon one. Now, the Triple bond always gets the lowest address. Don't worry about any side groups. Here we have three iodos on the right-hand side, but they get carbon-4. Cyclo compounds are possible as well. We form a ring. Here is cyclopropane, which we can show very quickly in these other two ways. This is cyclobutane. We put uh, one for one, one dichloro, two fluoro, numbering in such a way as to give the lowest possible numbers. Five carbons, cyclopentane with a propyl group on. Here's cyclohexane, diiodo. Give it one one diiodo, and that makes the nitro on carbon four. I'm going fast here, so pause if you need to. Four rings is cyclobutene and Two double bonds is a diene. One, three, butadiene. One, three, cyclobutadiene. Here's cyclohexene. Number th at beginning at the double bond, number through the double bond, we have a butyl side group. One, uh, three butyl cyclohexene. And finally, and very quickly, any carbon compound with six carbons in a ring, alternating single double bonds, is called an aromatic. Benzene is the simplest aromatic compound. Put a chloro on it, and it's chlorobenzene. Put a carbon on it, and it gets an interesting new name just because toluene. If you put nitros on it, you get one nitro, di two is di, three is tri, trinitrotoluene, more commonly known as TNT, the explosive.